If you have ever encountered anything like OBS white screen or black screen, you open your OBS, the whole front side of your OBS is showing pure white. Okay, it's not displaying any image, even if you add a scene, okay, or source, and add maybe camera, video capture, whatever, and is still displaying white or black. In this video, I am going to show you how to get that solved. I've gotten like three or four or five of this kind of issues. Um, in the past, even presently, I have one guy on this YouTube channel. He's facing the same problem. And then um, since three days ago, he has written me, he's been writing me and telling me, bro, um, this is the issue I'm facing with my OBS. My OBS is showing only white screen. Okay. Even when I uninstall and reinstall it, it's still the same thing. And um, I came into a system and I tried to uninstall and install it via control panel and it's still giving the same issues. But right now in this video, I'm going to call him and I'm going to log into his system and we are going to solve this problem together in Windows 10 system and also in your Windows 11 system. So let's get right into the um, main video, okay? Um, Okay, let me bring up the other system and log into his system. Let me call him first, then um, I'll log into his system via any desk. And I will show you guys what kind of issues he's having, all right? Yeah, boss. Yeah, send me your any desk ID. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, guys, um, I've already logged into this guy's system, and um, this is the, um, any desk. You guys can see this is my main system, and um, this is any desk. Okay. So let's go on and open his um, OBS. You can see. The OBS on his system is showing a complete white screen, okay? So whatever you do here is not going to work. You try to add a new source or scene. Okay, let's say display capture. This is a new source, and you click on OK. And you can see it's showing all white, all right? So this is a big issue. There's nothing you're going to do with this OBS that is going to make it work, all right? Because everywhere is white, 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 white. Even if you add your camera, come over here and click on add camera, whatever. Okay, window capture, blah, blah, blah. Everything is just showing pure white. And this is a very big problem. So people only show pure black. Whether white, black, green, whatever color it is, this is how you're going to solve this problem. So you guys can see that the OBS is completely white or plain black. Whatever source or scene that you add there is only showing pure white. So this is how you're going to solve it. Whether it's in Windows 11 or Windows 10, okay, this is how you're going to solve it. Come over to the search area of this system and type setting. You're trying to locate the setting. This is setting. Click on setting and open setting on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Well, right, once you open setting, come to the search area of this setting and type graphics setting. Graphics, once you type graphics, automatically the system will bring out setting for you guys can see here now click here once you click on this graphic setting you guys can see this is the graphic settings system display graphics so if you look down here on this list you will notice that you won't see obs on any of this list you go down 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 there's no obs here okay now even if you have the obs here although in this situation you will not find obs there but even if you find obs in this list that means it's from the setting now let me show you how to add obs what you need to do is come over to this um you can see add an app now what you need to do is desktop app what you need to do is come up, come to this browse click on this browse okay on this browse if you go to desktop on is like that system network is a kind of slow because you, know, you guys know that i'm working in somebody's system i'm not working in my system directly okay you guys can see if i minimize this this is my main system 
I'm using um, um, any desk. So this is um, desktop. You guys can see. If you go to desktop and scroll down, you will not see OBS on this desktop. Although OBS is also on the desktop. But when you search through that browse, you will not find it here. Okay. Let's cancel. So what we need to do is we are not going to locate OBS in program files. That is where we need to add this OBS in that list. Okay. My internet is um, acting up, but that's okay. Okay. Let me cancel and um, click on browse again. Let's go over here and click on browse. Okay. Yeah, that's my PC. Now go to my PC. I'll go to C drive, open C drive, go to program files. Once you go to program files, now scroll down to O. We are looking for OBS. Now scroll down to O, 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 N, O. Okay. This is OBS Studio. Double click on it. Now go to Bean. Double click on Bean. Double click on this. Open it and you will see OBS 64. Now double click on this file. Okay. Once you double click on this file, this OBS is now right inside the list. Here. You guys can see. Now, you can see OBS here. So what you need to do is come over here. Options. Click on options. Don't allow it. Don't let it be on let window decide. Click on power saving. Okay. And click on save. Once you click on power saving and click on save. Whatever, let me minimize this. Let me minimize it. Let me not close it. So what I need to do now is I have to close OBS. Once I close OBS and reopen it, I think um, there should be peace in this OBS and this system. Now double click on the OBS. Good. Let's delete this. And um, let me add, let's say display capture. No display capture. Let me click display capture and say okay. You guys can see that the OBS is now working perfectly. So this is exactly how you can fix this kind of issue if your system is having this kind of issue. What you need to do is just only go to your settings in your system. Okay. Let me go to setting on my system. Let me use the system to show you guys. Go to settings, click type settings on your system and open settings, whether it's Windows 10 or Windows 11. Once you open settings, you go over here and type graphics setting. Okay. Graphics. Once you type graphics setting will come out. Click on graphics setting and this is going to open. On this list, you will not find OBS. Even if you find OBS, just click on the OBS and go to option and Change it to power savings if you're having a white screen or black screen. But in case if you don't have OBS, what you need to do is, let me remove this OBS. Scroll up. What you need to do is just click on browse. Once you click on browse, um, go to your My PC. Once you go to My PC, go to your C drive and go to Program Files. On Program Files, locate OBS. Okay, M N M N O. Double click on it and bin, double click on bin. Once you double click on bin, double click on the folder inside and now select. And now double click on OBS 64. Once you double click on OBS 64, you find it right here, inside here. Now click here and come over and click on power savings and click on save. And that's it. Your OBS will start working. So if this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Asukin Nakesli. And on this channel, I give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant tips that helps in a daily online space. But during the weekend, I make sure I give you updates on new games and apps in the virtual reality space. So if you wouldn't want to miss any of my videos, make sure you hit the subscription button and make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to know once I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. Like always, you guys should stay creative and remain blessed.